So let's see my Opspot Tail Air NDI and Companion setup. So I have three Opspots. I have Companion. They are all just using uh, the Sony Visca plugin. So there is some uh, commands that I miss and some that doesn't work but what how they're connected it's it's the ip then the uh, default port and the camera id has to be zero and then since i'm in europe i have the uh, for uh, put the frame rate as 50 and saved it these all are the same uh, even if I just had have uh, three cameras, I have already uh, made it, it prepared for five cameras. So, how is my button layout? So, uh, I have a normal Stream Deck. Uh, so, it just shows these 20 uh, buttons. And these are more for a, a super user think uh, for someone who is need to use them from the uh, from the in, uh, interface not by the stream deck so uh, the logic let's see button let's take it this way so what I did do was or let's say try to do was to have one button to power them on and go to one particular uh, uh, preset uh, camera power on off is one of the commands that doesn't work so this just uh, this on does just make them go to uh, one preset off is then the opposite so it takes a preset and this preset was made uh, with the thought that it uh, the lens points down which means that it doesn't ga gather any dust or so and also it's a clear indication that the camera is off uh, then we have basically call uh, preset one two three and the one in the uh, middle is basically this is cam for camera one also it uh, has uh, to make the exposure focus and white balance all auto just by pushing it but honestly if you the normal user shouldn't even be, uh, need to push the one then we have pan uh, and uh, tilt they are made as any other uh, pan tilt zoom camera so you have push the button down it pans uh, release the button it stops and so that is basically what I've done for all the cameras the on off is totally identical in, uh, on all pages then I have on page 99 I have the the store for camera one two three four on page 98 I have a store for one two three for camera five and then I have the store 11 and 12 which is this is 11 is the startup uh, preset and 12 is the uh, uh, power down preset so let's go so now if I'm pushing the start button I will do it on my stream deck and I have a delay on the camera one so now they are all in preset one I'm on page for camera two which is that one so now I pan left 
right, up, down. Let's go to camera one, this one. Let's take that to left there and pan it up high. Uh, and basically let's put them all to sleep. So now they're just are pointing down. I will take now camera one up so it looks like that when they are pointing down. Uh, even if uh, I'm missing some commands uh, in the uh, Visca IP, for example, I would like to have uh, tracking uh, on off because sometimes you want to have tracking, sometimes you don't, and you want to have it uh, behind a button to fast change from on off. Uh, I still think I can get quite a lot with the uh, regular Sony Viscover IP. Mostly I uh, uh, miss the power on off, which would just be so great to have. So thank you for this. Thank you for watching.